Okay, folks, that was the problem with the uh, joystick. So it kept sliding on the top when I should have been locking that part down to keep it from moving. So I fixed that. I'm going to put this on. Slide it on. There we go. That looks good. All right. Testing one, two, three. Yep. See my voice. Okay. Turn on the air conditioning. On my way home, this is a ZBE 10. And it's pointing straight. I fixed the tripod problem, which I had earlier uh, this morning. So everything was tied on the top. It was just on the bottom part. So that's taken care of. So let's go home. Oh. Another hot day, 104. Right now, as I get in the car, but uh, it should cool off shortly. Oh man. So, hopefully, this is in focus. I'm going to tap it. I don't know if it's tap the focus. I don't know. That's why I don't like Sony too much. I don't know if it's in focus or not. Okay. Did they disable this? Yeah, I would have to hate to have the guardrail come down on me. Okay, let's do it this way. That's much better. Okay. Should have done that in the first place. All right, half eleven. It's working just like the uh, Z30. Okay, put the point down there on the street, kind of center, but it's not staying there. see any traffic. I don't know where the focus point is. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, it was a long week, folks. That is over with today. So you see like a blue sky. Those I think are clouds. But they're thin clouds. I don't think it's too high, but at least it's missing the windshield and dash. So I'm wondering if it's a little bit too high. See, I'm going downhill and you can see traffic. And I'm trying to get to the top of the vehicles where you don't see their license plates that much. Got it. So 
is not moving now. The camera that is. It's looking good so far. So I got the 50 millimeter on here too. I forgot to put the hood out. You got your crazy drivers again. Can't make up their mind which uh, lane they're going to turn. So we're going away. I don't have the hood on. My uh, bad. So you should not see the sun except when we uh, get on the loop for 1604, get off at Lookout Road. So, this is a native lens for Sony. It is a full frame, which will give you a uh, uh, 75 millimeter, I think, the crop. The nice thing about having a full frame glass, it's a difference if you're having a full frame camera and then you put an APS-C uh, lens on there. So this way you use the, I guess the same crop factor, but you uh, don't get any vignetting because I got a full frame uh, lens. Now this lens is supposed to have a little vignetting, but I got it controlled in the camera. I got the steady shot on, so we're going to see if it's less uh, shaky than this morning. I had to stabilize uh, on this, but you know when you're looking at the uh, LCD and you see shakiness, you figure the video is going to be shaky also. Now, the reason why I put it up a little bit above the dash and the windshield wipers, besides not looking at the license plates, but is to uh, remove that jelly look. It's kind of like a, a rolling shutter effect. Only uh, when I'm in idle and the uh, car engine is... Uh, I don't know, shaking the vehicle, you get that up and down motion. And kind of like a line skipping too. You know, like the old TV sets. So if you ha have it set at the right hertz, you don't get to see it. But since this isn't a 4K60, but a 4K30, I can't do anything about that. Now, when there's a lot of going down hills, Uh, on my trek home. So you'll see a lot of traffic. I'm just trying to be curious a little bit to... Well, I already told you the reasons. One was his license plate and the other one was... Hmm, should I go to Olive Garden? No, uh, they're packed more people at the Olive Garden than the IKEA furniture store. And when that first opened, that was packed. Of course, I can't see any uh, cars there because of the big uh, walls around the uh, highway. So, a loop's supposed to be closed August 1st. It's probably at night time. Okay. It's doing good, folks. Camera's not moving. It's staying still. So, 
I got uh, two tripods of this uh, Sun Pack, or Sun Park, I should say. Uh, it's the uh, Travel Light Pro. So I got one on the Z30, which will fit on the tripod in the living room. And then I got the one on this camera, which I usually use for car vlogging test out lenses and stuff like that but I switched that with the uh, Sony a7c which I like much better when I car vlog you don't get that much of uh, well you get better nighttime vision and less jelly uh, look rolling shutter or mirage effect whatever you want to call it So I'm comparing the ZV-10 with the Z30, and uh, there's some advantages with the EV-10, there's some advantages with the Z30. The Z30 is a little bit wider, it does overheat, but I had it in the office and it was hot in that room, it was almost like 85 degrees. And with the new camera, with all the new seals uh, still intact, I guess I have to give it time. Let some of that heat, uh, I don't know, dissipate out of the camera. So I've been running it for like 25, 30 minutes, but I have not been recording to the... Uh, SD card. I've been recording through the computer on the SSD. You know, using Ecamm Live software. So that kind of gets rid of the 30 minute time limit, but it does not get rid of the overheating limit. So I moved this camera to the living room. I did use a fan that I'll show later to keep it cool. I told Peter Gregg to do that and he got a you know, like a tray of ice or whatever so that when it melt and the fan was hitting the ice and the back of the uh, eye mask it kept it cool. So I'm doing the same effect here. He's also using the fan on, he was using it on the R7. It did much better, but he decided to uh, send it back. But he's looking at the R6. He's had it once before, but he can't remember it that much. Well, he only showed a little things about vlogging and stuff, and maybe showed it one time on the stand. That was it. But with these new updates, firmware updates, he's got interested again. It was just like his uh, Z6. Uh, before the firmware updates, it wasn't that good. Now, it's excellent. Yeah, water the trees, plants, all that stuff. Okay, I'm home. Okay, so you go home. Turn off the air conditioner. Turn off that. Good, no jelly effect. Now I like this lens. Uh, I use the uh, 50 millimeter 2.5 G, and I thought that was a good lens. I've tried this before, but it kept, um, going in between um, the spots on the windshield and stuff. But I had it in different positions too. I had one on the dash and then one on the pillow, or I should say on the uh, passenger seat, front passenger seat, on the cushion. So I removed the cushion, that didn't help. So then I just put it to the uh, floorboard on a tripod and uh, just used a bungee cord to, on that stick 
and it's uh, set in place. So I got the front part of the tripod, which I'll take down. I'll turn on some lights. So I'm still recording. Ah, it's warm in here. Okay, let's release this. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. So, here's the setup. All right. Okay. There it is. Let me turn it this way. All right. So, here's a tripod. There's a stick. And this right here is the safety handlebar in front of the passenger seat. And then I got the tripod down to the floor. So the two legs are sitting on the uh, floorboard. And the front leg, nope, I didn't put it in. It's still below. Okay. One time I did try it and it didn't work out. So, okay. But it's pretty stable because I got the bungee cord right here. Let me show it. Yeah, bungee cord right there wrapped around the stick and it's stable and I locked this down so now it's not moving so uh, anyhow this is uh, the 50 millimeter f1.8 I'm back home looking out the window looking for any jelly effect I don't see anything so anyway I'm going to end this because it's hot in here it's about 98 degrees so anyhow let me turn this around, see the tally light on, and I'm going to look at myself too. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, I have to put it back here. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about 50 millimeter, 75 millimeters on this, but uh, I'm going to end it here. Maybe I should do it like, like this. There we go. Well, that's not too good either. But uh, remember, if you like it, give me a like, subscribe, write a comment down below if you have any questions or you'd like to see any other content. And uh, hit the notification bell for any uh, more videos that I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to cut part of these out, compare both cameras. And then I'll put the full video out on the car vlogging. That way you can compare the whole thing. So remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, bye.